Hey guys, working on a 2011 GMC Acadia and we have codes for, let me check that, I'll take a picture of this, or I'll, I'll take a screenshot of it, but it's P2099, this is post cat fuel trim system too rich, P0420, uh, catalyst, catalyst system efficiency too low, bank one, and P0430, uh, catalytic efficiency bank two. <clears throat> so on this engine this is a this is a this is a front wheel layout engine even though this is all wheel drive so your bank two is over here if i'm not mistaken and your bank one is on this side so basically in layman's terms what that code means is the car doesn't like the the fuel or whatever whatever the, the oxygen sensor is, is sensing past the catalytic converter so the biggest thing to do is to start with the downstream oxygen sensors and typically eight times out of ten that fixes your problem if it doesn't fix your problem you can attack the upstream sensors and then if the upstream sensors doesn't fix your problem then you more than likely need new catalytic converters but anyway, I'm going to show you guys where the actual oxygen sensors are located on this car. So right here, I got the car jacked up. I do have it on jack stands as well over there and over there. So here we are. The bank two, I'll get a light too when I start it. But the bank two is right here in the front. It sits right there. What I'm going to do is get some WD-40 and hit this thing up. All right, we're gonna let that soak for a little bit. The other one is further back. All right, if you follow our line right here, our O2 sensor sits right up here. Okay, that, that was a little bit of work to get that out. So basically, I put my arm through the side of the frame right here to grab it with this hand, and I use this hand to pull it. The first thing you gotta do is pull this lock, this little lock, little lock tab out. Just pull it out, and then this right here you just lift up on the tab you like literally pull it up and it pulls and it pops out now we can get started on pulling this out it's not really a fun location i'm not really liking where it's at i have to get creative here Just like that, there we go. Okay. Ah, oof, I think I got it. There we go. Whew. I think I got it, y'all. There we go. Whew. And she's out. Thank you. Once you get the sensor off, what you do is you just get some cutters, my seven eighths, all the way down here, like this. And then once it's sitting here like this, see how it's sitting on the sensor? I have something called a wrench extender. Get my wrench extender like that. Make sure that this is nice and nice and firm on there and pop it out. So this is out. That's great. Now we can worry about getting our new one in. All right. OEM part number is a Bosch 16089. Let's look at the two. Everything looks identical. And same sensor. So that's good. And this does have NICs on it. Same style bong, everything. Okay, great. Let's get this in. The way we're going to put it on, we're just going to use the 7 ace. And we're just going to get it right here. With the open head. We're going to snug it down. Like that, hold on. And just like that. For the most part, 
oxygen sensors usually get torqued down to about 30 foot pounds but uh use this once you feel it gets snug and it doesn't want to go any further i would stop if you over tighten this you can strip the threads out and you'll have to get a new oxygen sensor so now let's get this get the wire in here plugged up and then we'll move on all right so there you go just make sure it's not actually touching the exhaust which it's not that's good and just get it in here and get that little you don't really have to put the lock tab back in but i'll just put it back in so we're good to go here let's come back and we're going to go to erase and we're going to click yes all right let's start her up and just like that you guys I was running. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Uh, bye.